But remember, any day that you're talking to a leftoid is opposite day. Correct. Case in point, CNN. Hmm. How conservatives use verbal jujitsu to turn liberals' language against them. Actually, they did that to themselves. <laughs> they did, by going through the dictionary, finding any word that didn't fit their agenda, and changing the definition. Correct. It's hilarious. Like You have to read this article in its entirety, but it's hilarious. Republicans are masters of verbal jujitsu. It's a form of linguistic combat in which the practitioner takes the political phrase or concept popularized by their opponent and gradually turns into an unusable slur. Stand by. Like the Japanese martial art known as jujitsu. Stand by. All right. All, this, this is what the conservatives do. Do they use a lot of the crazy phrases that the left puts out there? Yes, and the only way they corrupt these things as weapons against the left is the the conservatives apply logic and reason yeah. and turn it against them. Yeah. This isn't verbal jujitsu. No. We're actually explaining what your fake definition means, like Affordable Health Care Act. Yes. Patriot Act. Critical Race Theory diversity, equity, and inclusion, none of those things actually mean what they claim to say. Correct. And so when you expose the meaning <clears throat> behind it, now that's verbal jujitsu. And uh, it's, it's, I mean, you need to stop twisting the definitions of our words because that's not nice. <laughs> Listen, it's, this is the equivalent of you building military equipment and you send it out and it gets captured and used against you. Yeah. Like, come on! And then th this writer, let, let, let's see who, who wrote this piece of shit. John Blake. I'm, sh I'm ashamed to share a name with this sack of human excrement. Blakey the flake. It's hilarious. Look at this. You go down here. Meanwhile, Republicans continue to proudly use words and pet phrases such as family values, conservative, and patriot, no matter who or what is associated with the terms. You want to know why? Because association with a term doesn't change its fucking meaning. Yeah, it doesn't. Where's the actual logic dam in this? Because they always put one in. I, I, I couldn't even tell you because the whole thing is bullshit. Okay. It, it's just, it, it's everywhere. Uh, not the bead did a good breakdown on it. And I love this. The people who call women birthing parents, or, or let's say chest feeding birthing parents with bonus holes let's just lay it all out there on front street and they say men reduce women to the sum of their parts yeah are complaining that conservatives use verbal jujitsu against liberals clown world <laughs> i'm glad not to be look at this part. shit these are the people who use terms like degrowth for the economy and chest feeding birthing parents with bonus holes for women. Exactly. And then we have here other articles available. All sources are on redonculus.com. Merriam Webster changes definition of female to fit the trans ideology. Merriam Webster claims that you're anti vax if you are merely opposed to vaccine mandates. Merriam Webster. Again, everything is racist, including not being a racist, as Merriam Webster expands the definition of the word colorblind. What? <laughs> Wow! Yeah, but we're the ones <laughs> fucking with the language. Yeah, it's us. By explaining what you really mean when you dress up your tyranny and evil with politically correct buzzwords. Correct. <laughs> politically correct was just a fancy term for obliterate the language that binds us together, and CNN has been a huge part of that Marxist undertaking. Consider this 2022 article from CNN. The language we use to talk about pregnancy and abortion is changing, but not everyone welcomes the shift. Well, when you're trying to insist that men can give birth to children, yeah, you're going to find a little bit of an opposition. This is just beyond me. There's only two sexes. There's only two genders. Yeah. Okay. There's hetero, gay, and asexual. And then you have a very small minority of people. Well, you're talking about sexual proclivities. You're talking male and female and, and, and uh, intersex. That's it. But the, but the, actually, and that's but, a genetic abnormality. But the thing More is, people are born without arms than are born genuinely. Yeah, you are uh, correct, but that, that's where the fallacy is. They take the male, female, and the gay, and they're like, well, and they literally have invented all of these counterfeit um, so-called genders. Yeah. And nobody can tell you how you practice said genders other than asexual, meaning you don't right. mess around. I forget who, who coined the phrase, but like, if I had a dollar for every gender, I'd have two bucks and a bunch of counterfeits. Correct. 
That's exactly what it's going on here. And uh, the, actually, there was a great article today. I didn't get a chance to, uh, to, to incorporate it into the stream, but it was sent to me by Big Bad Wolf. Uh, Newsweek article written by a detransitioned male mm-hmm. who is looking to divorce the LGB from the TQI+. All right. Now, hang on. Uh, Even the gays are waking up to this shit. Well, well listen, uh, uh, all the acronyms... Uh, they just I bleed know. together. I mean, God, loose gay but twerking queer. I mean, community you should be in able America. to at least make a word out of it, right? Yeah, like we do. Old beef, old bitchy, entitled, expensive, and fat. And then you could do old beef and cheddar, old bitchy, entitled, expensive, and fat, cheating, harpy. Uh, what's it? <laughs> I forget exactly what it was. Yeah, we have to. We have to <laughs> work it out. D- uh, dick diddling ass reamer, something like that. <laughs> like you gotta have, be able to make a word out of it. This is just alphabet soup. Yeah. Give me a break. It's like you guys are playing Boggle and then not naming your kids with it, unlike certain communities that, you know, love to fly <laughs> black power fist <laughs> flags. What do you want to name her? Gonorrhea. Well, that's actually kind of pretty. No! <laughs> Put no. that away. Fine. I pick up a medical dictionary. Well, that's bad. Yeah, it is bad. Yeah, I'm glad we didn't make that mistake. <laughs> Gonorrhea! No! <laughs> Yeah, I remember I met this one woman. Her name was her first name was Dollar. Dollar. Her mother named her that. And I'm like, oh, where are you born? Uh, Baltimore. That explains everything. Why don't we call you Dolores? <laughs> I, I think that's that's what she was going for. So we'll just use that name. Woo! Oh, that's a good time. She's like, Sarah Pop. I think you're right. I'm like, yeah, yeah. Maybe we should change that. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, uh, hilarious. And, and one of the things, like, you know that th- this CNN article is completely off the fucking rails because guess who they quote to strengthen their argument? Oh, here we go. Robin D'Angelo, the author of White Fragility. We did a whole episode oh, debunking yeah! her entire book and destroyed that bitch with, like, Nagasaki within an oh, inch of her life. God. We nuked her from orbit. Yeah. It's yeah. the only way to be sure. Mm. But here we go. Whatever the method, this firm of. Form of verbal jujitsu is used for one purpose, says D'Angelo, author of White Fragility. The function is to silence the conversation and to protect the status quo. Oh, you mean like by passing hate speech laws to where you're not allowed to criticize gender ideology? <laughs> yeah. Like that? Yeah. Uh, first law of being woke accuse the other side of doing what you're doing. Listen, and it's not, I don't consider it criticism when you say it doesn't exist. It is a, it's a fallacy. Yeah. You cannot turn a dude into a chick. No, you, you cannot, cannot do it with our technology at this time. It just will not happen. And even if the technology did exist, it would still have an ickiness factor for the vast majority of people out there. Yeah. Sorry, I'm not sorry. Yeah. Ugh. And but there are some other articles that you guys can uh, look at and keep in your, your back pocket as ammunition for when you decide to engage with leftoids in the, the public square that is the interwebs. Uh, how the left's war on words manipulates your mind. That's a really good one there from the Federalist. Uh, dictionary changes the definition of even more words to fit the leftist narrative. There was a good one here. They even redes- redefined assault weapon. Any of various automatic or semi-automatic firearms. Yeah, bullshit. That's almost every gun. Yes, it is. <laughs> and here's another thing: is they're all like you know wrapped around the axle over the semi-automatic stuff. Yeah, dude, if you have a precision bolt-action rifle, you are a walking nightmare. Yep. I mean, they they don't seem to understand that. Uh, yeah. You know, I, I'm a former sniper. I know exactly what that means. Yeah, and the CIA would have us believe that JFK was killed by one dude with a bolt-action rifle from an elevated position from, like, two football fields away. Yeah, I, I watched the documentary <laughs> on that. It, and, yes, you could have hit him, but you're not getting off, was it three shots? No, and no. considering on the Sapruder film itself, you can literally see the impact momentum taking him in multiple directions yeah one of the people who shot him was his own secret service agent which is why jackie was trying to climb out the back of the car because she knew that the one of the gunmen was in the front seat 
Yeah, that's messed up. It is. And if you question that, that's where the phrase conspiracy theory was first coined by the CIA for questioning whether or not Oswald actually killed Kennedy. And actually, that boils down the the basic nugget of why our civilization is so fucked right now. Mm-hmm. They have silenced so many people with guilt, blame, and shame. Yeah. Stop doing that. Don't Stop feel them. guilty for speaking the truth. Don't be shamed in the silence. Speak your mind. Yes. Be heard. Watch Grunt Speak Live every Tuesday and Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern. And if you want to join Pop for Support of Sundays, go to redonkulous.com slash donate and make a monthly pledge. A link is in the meat case box. 